What's up, people? Hope you're doing well. C Crizzle, as you know, obviously, on my channel. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I know uh, tech and content have been lacking on my channel for the past couple of weeks, but uh, just bear with me. I'm, uh, I'm something is tech and stuff is coming up. I'm gonna be posting more tech and stuff real soon. Uh, in the meantime, I don't want to talk about Tekken today. I mainly want to talk about the whole situation that's going on, uh, in particular regarding, uh, you know, black people and the whole George Floyd situation. Um, yeah, so obviously it has affected, um, you know, a lot of people, not just black people. It's, it's affected a lot of people, um, you know, even of multiple races human beings have spoken about how disgusting or how um disturbing they were to witness that kind of um behavior from the police and you, you, you know and it's good people speaking up and i'm really happy that you know people um are going against this and making uh society and all these policemen in america especially realize that they can't be doing this kind of stuff now this isn't the first time it's happened it's happened so many times over the years you know from time to time i will see these videos of um people it's mainly black people though because i don't want to just circle it. it's mainly black people but you know even other races as well where police has have been abusing their position of power like for example i saw a video a couple of days ago of, of some guy you know no threat uh he had his hand on his head a uh, policeman and there's one policeman to his right and then the, another policeman comes from the back and fly kicks him when he's in no harm he's he's surrendering whatever i don't know what the guy done but he, he looks like he had his hand on his head there's no need to come behind him and fly kick him for what and all these other people, you know, getting shot left and right, man, because they're resisting, or because they might be resisting arrest. Man, come on, man. And people, you know, policemen coming up to people saying, oh, yeah, we suspect you look like a guy that fits the description. Like, without even adding the, asking for their ID or whatever it is. Man, I'm a, uh, let me talk about my history um i've always tried my best to stay on the right side of the law i've uh uh i've never done any drugs i've never been in gangs i'm not a typical <laughs> that's typical not everyone's not every obviously not every black person is involved in gangs or whatever it is but me personally it's something that i've always avoided i don't i've never done drugs i don't smoke anyway and i really and i even rarely drink only on special occasions or when the you know situation calls for it i drink i've never even been drunk <laughs> but obviously drinking is fine whatever but i'm just trying to let you guys know i've always avoided all this kind of stuff yeah i've been asked i've been recruited to join the gangs and stuff when i was younger but i didn't want to get i wasn't about that life because you know um my parents my mom especially she inspired me never to be doing that kind of stuff yeah I was a kid i done some naughty things in school uh, i got into fights i got into trouble detention i was rude and all that but you know the things that would get me in trouble with the law in particular i've always tried to avoid that and growing up i'm actually proud of myself of how far i've matured as a person man i look back now when i was flipping 11 10 11 12 13 all them years man i was trouble in school not as in, in, in school but that's because there were lots of things going on and whatnot not that i want to use that as an excuse but lots of things but i've always tried to stay on the right side of the law overall uh i must be one of the lucky ones i'm gonna be honest I'm, i must be one of the lucky people that's that's been rarely stopped and searched by the police i must be lucky also i say i must be lucky one of the lucky black people that never not never but that's been rarely stopped by the police there's only been about three occasions where I can recall where I've been stopped by and, uh, and asked by the police. And I don't find it offensive. I just think they might be doing their job. I don't uh, I don't see it as a bad thing. Nothing serious came out of it. I just, just asked me, oh yeah, what's going on? 
you know, what are you guys doing here? And, you know, nothing major. I'm cool with that. I've, I've only ever been stopped two, three times tops in all my life. And the last time was like years ago. We're talking six, seven years ago. So I've been one of the lucky ones, I guess, that's never been like uh, all constantly stopped by the police or harassed or in any way. One thing I will say is a couple of years, it's a couple of, it was like two years ago. Uh, I'll tell you this story. Two years ago, uh, was it in, two, in 2017, I, uh, I, uh, I done my driving license, right? I passed my, my thing in 2017. And I had not even had my thing for a year. I think, yeah, just, just over a year, almost a year and a half, I had my, my thingy for, my, uh, my license. Because, uh, uh, don't get me wrong, I got my license late because I was like, nah, I don't need a car. What do I need a car for? I don't need to drive. I got my bike, I jog, I do all of that. So I was never in a hurry to like do, get my license. So I don't, I don't mind quite late at like age 24 or something, my late 20, or mid, uh, yeah, around 24 years old. So long story short, I got my license. And one day, one night, it was a Sunday night, I was driving in the rain with my older brother, my older cousin technically, but my brother. And uh, man, I see a siren on the back coming. And obviously I'm pulling to the side to let them pass. But then they come up and then stop behind me. I'm looking at my cousin like, bro, what's going on? And then it was a police van. Five policemen came out. Three men and two women. Um, yeah, I, I should, I should I specify they they were all white. No, I, I'm not gonna say this was a racial attack. No, I'm not gonna go down that route. It could. I, I don't think it was, but uh, you could look at it that way. But you guys can judge for yourself. <sighs> right. This car wasn't. It, it wasn't my car. It was. Uh, a family friend's car and she lent it to me to go to do her favor so and I was driving through South London going back to North London uh, to yeah North London um, and yeah it was a Sunday night around half half nine quarter to ten something like that and yeah they come out and say oh um, yeah sorry to disturb you guys uh, we uh, there's been this this and this going on around the area and da 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 uh, do you mind? Have you got your license on, on you? Have you got your license on you? I'm like, yeah, sure. I give, I give her my license. Um, yeah, and then, they, and then they say they go on to say, oh, yeah, um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, are you insured to be driving this car? Is this? Uh, uh, and I'm like, well, what, what does that mean? Um, this car is insured, third, third party insured. And then and they're like, yeah, yeah, but are you insured to be driving this car? I'm like. Uh, what does that mean? And then they're like, all right, um, just just bear with me one second. And then she goes and then she comes back and then she says, oh, yeah, by the way, um, we can smell a whiff of, uh, you know, uh, cannabis coming from the car. Have you, have you guys been smoking? Now, I was offended by that because I've, I've never smoked in my life, let alone uh, smoke um, cannabis or whatever it is. Never. They and the 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 family friend's car. She she doesn't smoke. She's got kids. She she, she she doesn't smoke. So I don't know where the where they thought the smoke the smoke the, the smoke was coming from. I was like, rah, what's this about? So I step out the car. They asked me to step out the car. Man. We step out the car. They search us. They, they don't find anything. They they write a report and then he he, he gives me the, the receipt of the report. And then I I tried to explain to one of the officers saying that pleading with me. I say look, uh, officer look. Um, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I've never been in trouble with the police. Whatever you got, and he was like, "Yeah, you could be saying that." Da, 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 you know, they always say that, and all of that. I was like, "Okay," I kept quiet. And then what they decided to do, they took my license. They took all my points because here in the UK, obviously, when you pass your your, your test within the first two years, you've only got six points, right? They took all my points because I was driving without, in, without um, insurance. And in my defense, guys, I did not know because the insurance policy in different countries is different. And I started learning to drive in France. 
I, I was in France, and then that's where I started to learn, learning to drive. My friends started showing me to drive around there, da, 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 da. And that's why I started to le learning to drive. And I thought here, the regulation of insurance wasn't the same. Whereas in America, same thing. I know in America, as long as the car is insured, anyone with a license can drive that car. But obviously there's that policies that, okay, if you crash the car, you know, then it needs to come out your own money because it's not actually the owner that crashed the car and all of that. But I thought here was the same thing. I did not think much of it. Uh, if, uh, when I was doing my course, when I was uh, revising and studying, it's, it's something, it's a question that did not come up. I, I did not, I must have missed it somewhere. I, I wasn't aware of it. So I tried to explain, I, I tried to explain that to them, but they thought I was bullshitting them. I, I was like, I didn't know. I'm sorry, I, I didn't know. They could have taken, I think they could have taken like four to five points, but they took all my points. They fined me, so they took my, my license, all my points. They fined me and they confiscated the car because they couldn't let me drive it because it wasn't, I wasn't insured for the car. So I, we had to pay money to get the car back from the impound. Uh, they fined me. Uh, they fined me for driving by insurance, obviously. And I had to redo my test all over, which I've redone a year, about, yeah, about a year later, which is, I've redone it about almost a year now. It's been almost a year since I've done it. So I was pissed. Uh, that, that went, I don't know if that was a racist thing. You guys can judge that. I don't know. Like I said, uh, I don't know if, if you go in my profile, I ask them to go on my profile. There's no, there's not a single criminal record on me. I've never done anything wrong. <sighs> they, I, there was no convincing them. So I was like, right, okay, cool. So yeah, my point is, I've been one, probably one of the lucky black people that's never been uh, harassed, as you say, or stopped much by the police. But man, this racial stuff has got to stop. I mean, it's got me thinking, man. I know the people say like Black Lives Matters, and I don't want people to be taking it the wrong way. I don't think it's to, it's to just it's to just to saying that Black Lives. I I think we're, what we're trying to say is. Black lives matters as well. All lives matter, man. We we we're one race. We're the human race. Don't forget, don't forget that. Here we are trying to con conquer, up, trying to conquer, conquer, trying to conquer uh, other planets. I said conquer because I thought Tekken, but trying to conquer other planets, trying to terraform other planets. When the planet Earth, the planet that we're on right now, we can't even <laughs> we can't even live on it in peace. There's so much going on. People getting killed every day for, for, for no reason. We weapons of destruction. We're killing each other, man. This has got to stop. Like, it's hard. You guys understand, it's hard as a black, especially as a black man. It's hard. Like, we do have it hard. We struggle. It's not good. We struggle. We had it. We have it tough. Our, our parents had it tough. It's easier now, yeah, but we still struggle. We're still in that pandemic where we're where we're struggling. We, it's, it's not quite there yet. Things are being done, but it's not quite there yet. So the George Floyd situation. George got killed in, innocently by a policeman stepping on his neck. There was no reason for him to be stepping on his neck. The guy was on the ground. The policeman took him away from his car across the street to his to the policeman car pin him down to the ground for what nearly 10 minutes what, what was it what, eight nine minutes whatever it was the guy was pleading saying that he couldn't breathe come on man let the guy breathe let the guy breathe that that touched me let the guy breathe he's saying it hurts let him breathe man but the guy is actually insists more on pressing that on his neck the neck is dangerous don't mess with this area of the body, man. It's dangerous. How can you do this? That is, that is cruelty. It doesn't matter if the guy was black. It could have been a white man there. It could have been an Asian guy. It doesn't matter. You put someone's, your foot on someone's neck like that. On the pavement as well. Come on, man. No, not the pavement. So on the street. Concrete. Oh, uh, what's it? Yeah, on the street. Come on, man. Really? So I understand why everyone is pissed. And I'm glad that people are going on post protests, are protesting and going on 
uh, thing. I posted something uh, on you know different cities around the world. I'm, I'm I'm aware that they're doing it in Berlin. I'm aware that they're doing it. Uh, I, I believe in in Paris or it's, uh, it's certain uh, in France or wherever it is. We we had it here yesterday in central London, um, and certain places in America, of course. But what I'm not okay with is with the rioting going on. I'm not okay with that. They're going around breaking things in the local community and shit. No, I'm, I don't agree with that. They're just, it's not going to bring uh, George Black, <laughs> Black. It's not going to bring George back. He's done. He's gone. A, an innocent man lost his life over pretty much nothing. Suspected fraudulism or whatever it was. Suspected fake cash or, or, or fake, fake, uh, fake check. It wasn't even fake, but suspected. So how many times have we heard the word suspected? Suspected. Suspected, oh, because he was suspected. Oh, we suspect you to look like someone else. Oh, we suspect that you're, you're this. You know, people, you're not sure, man. Relax with the violence. Relax. Sorry, man, this sounds like a rant, but it's just that it really, really touched a place in my heart, man, with, with all this. Uh... Man. It also reminds me of my previous relationship, actually. I, um, man, I, I, I could tell you guys, but I can't believe one of the last things she said to me. She threatened me to, to call the police on me. For what? I, 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 never, uh, I never hinted any threat to her. I never hurt her. She knew I would never hurt her. But what? I'm not even a violent person. I lead the violence to my acting. You guys see me doing all the fight, the stunts, the flips and all of that. That's all my acting. That's me acting. I'm not a violent person. I used to fight in secondary school, yeah. But I'm telling you guys, 15 years ago, to I look back now, man, I was always angry back then. I, I used to get upset quickly. I used to lose my temper. I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe that's like a general... <laughs> this is funny, but maybe that's like a general um, black thing because sometimes, you know, there are... There are certain black people that can get quite aggressive, so I, I, I don't I don't know. But obviously, growing up, you choose to mature. Everyone's got their path on that. I chose this path where I'm going to be mature. I'm going to try to do the right thing most of the time. Obviously, no one's perfect, but do the right thing when I can. No right from wrong, and try try to be try to stay positive and work hard for what I want. Don't take the easy way route. I can't even take the easy way route. We, it's almost impossible and I get it people struggle we all we all struggle we all have our little differences we all have problems in our lives that we're trying to sort out for some people it's money for some people it could be uh, health issues for some people it could be family's issues for some people it could be uh, food whatever it is everyone has problems everyone struggles in their own different way people that are rich even people that are rich man come on they, they struggle, they, they got their problems right, their problems might not be money, no, it might not be money or whatever it is, but it might be something completely different, everyone struggles, we get it. All I want, right, is that everyone gets treated the same, high class, middle class, lower class, whatever it is, treat people with respect and dignity. Until we do that, man, we're always going to be in the same situation, nothing is going to evolve. Nothing. Our ancestors, as a black man, suffered five, six hundred years ago. They suffered. It was hard. We've come a long way as a human being. I respect that. We've come a long way. But we can do way, 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 way more. Way more. We'll talk. I'm all for working hard to get what I want. Of course. I don't want the easy way route. I don't want the easy way. I, I, I want to make it in life, and I'm going to make it in life knowing that, raw. I done that. I worked hard for that. You guys watch this. You guys watch me, right? I'm going to make it in life. Real talk. As a black man, I'm Cameroonian, right? For you guys unknown me, I'm Cameroonian. I was born in Cameroon, yeah? I was born in Cameroon. Came to this country, thanks to my parents, my family, and, I'm, and one promise that I've always kept myself is what, no matter what, I'm never going to let my parents down. 
my mum, my dad, I'm never going to let them down. May they rest in peace. I'll never let them down. And I'm still thankful for all the close people I have in my life. You guys know who you are. And I really, really, I care for, I, 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 we should just care for each other, man. That's all I'm asking for, man. All of this is unnecessary, all these violence. Yeah, um, I'm all for, man. I don't want, um, so don't be offended, guys. Don't be offended when, you know, when you see the label Black Lives Matter. For me, the way I see it is Black Lives Matter as well. All lives matter. The human race matters. We should just put this violence aside and just move forward as one. And then we can start thinking about terraforming other planets, doing all of the great stuff that we plan to do. That's, that's what, that's what the, we, we've evolved. We've come a long way. There's been good stuff over the years that the human race has done. Loads of great stuff. But we're destroying ourselves within ourselves. We're destroying ourselves within ourselves, man. And we got to move from it. I'm sorry this video is long, but, you know, it is what it is. <sighs> yeah, but, um, may George rest in peace. You know, it was, uh, it was terrible what happened to him. I'm scared, man. I look, you guys know I'm, I want to be an actor, a, pro a professional, a great actor. I want to make it as an actor. That's my dream career. That's why I'm posting all these videos of stunt work, comedy stuff. Yeah, I've got a passion for Tekken as well. Which is one of the reasons why I created it, I created my channel. But acting is, is my main passion, man. And I know acting is big in America. And I wanna I've always had had a, wanted to go to America to try pursue it here. And I know you can also be a successful actor in London or in England, in Europe, yeah. But I know it's a bigger thing in America. And I've always had that dream for the for like six, seven years. Yeah, six, seven, eight years now. I've always thought, oh, I want to go to America, man. It's sick. Uh, LA or New York. Pursue my dream. But man, I don't want to go to America if I know I'm going to be <laughs> treated that way. Walking down the street and not feel safe. Or walking down the street, I might <laughs> being scared that I might get stopped. And if I try to resist or try to defend myself, or want to, someone's going to put a bullet in me or someone's going to taser my ass, as they say. Don't make me bring out the American accent, man. You guys don't want to hear the American accent. <laughs> I'm joking. But yeah, not real talk. But yeah, guys, uh, sorry you turned a bit into a run video, but yeah. Um, yeah, but come on, guys. We need to do better, man. We need to do better. I respect all the fellow actors out there, you know, uh, the, in the black community uh, that have worked hard, you know, uh, to to make it where they are, um, you know, people like uh, John Boyega, um, uh, Damson Idris, Ashley Waters, you know, uh, who else? Uh, man, who else is there? Uh, Daniel Kaluuya, you know. Uh, you know, even even the bigger ones, Will Smith, Denzel Washington, all these are all these great actors, American, British, whatever, that have paved the way. Nigerian actors, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. There's not many Cameroonian actors out there, or uh, well-known Cameroonian actors. That's, it doesn't exist. But hey, my goal is is to become a well a um, successful Cameroonian actor. That would be sick. There's 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 not many. I mean, no, I can think of. There's loads of Nigerian actors, well known, but there's not many Cameroonian actors. But my dream is there, but I know I have to work hard to get there, man, for sure. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna be successful one way or the other. If it's not acting, then it's gonna be another passion of mine, but acting is the goal. And I wanna help my country and my village and hopefully do something for this world. That's my goal, that's my dream in life. You guys know now, my goal in life, is to help my village, my family, people around me, and do something for like other people. I've always wanted to help other people. It's always uh, when I see someone outside that's not having a good day, my it touches me. It always touches me. Someone like pe poor people on the street. I'm lucky to have a roof over my head. These things we take for granted, man. Not everyone's that lucky. 
That could have been me. I come from a poor background. I come from a poor background. And we're, we're still struggling. We're still struggling. Most of my family are still struggling. But I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want people to, 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 to always see that side of me. Feel pity or what? No, no. I want to work for what I for what I want. I want to make it one day. I want to be successful as a person and do something on this planet, like Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee has a legacy, man. That's why he's one of my inspirations. That's why martial law is one of my guys, man. That's how I picked up law. I picked up law because he's he's an inspiration of my number one inspiration. He's inspired by Bruce Lee. That's why law is my main character. For people who follow my tech and stuff, man. You guys didn't know. That's why, that's why this, uh, you know, even actors like Chris Tucker and all of that, Daniel Kaluuya, John Boyega, all these guys I, I look up to, man. No Clark, Ashley Waters, even the uh, recently, you know, Stefan, uh, the, the, the new people in um, Blue Story and all that. Come on. You guys know, <laughs> well, you guys know, yeah, Batman, all of that, all these people paving ways. These are people that I look up to saying, yeah, man, th those guys, they work hard. Because when I see the backstory, boy, it touches me. For real, it touches me right here. Some of them struggled hard. Some of them had them way harder than I did. Some of them didn't have, have, a, have a choice on certain things, man. Anyway, I'm going to leave as that. This video is too long, man. Uh, thanks, you guys, for watching. Uh, keep supporting us. Uh, keep supporting the human race keep moving forward fight for what's right and we need to do better we need to do better as a human race as one that's it doesn't matter we're black asian white i rate all of you people color doesn't mean nothing to me if i get along with you i get along with you if 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 we don't meet if we don't if I don't feel you, I don't feel you. But I'm not. I'm never. I'm not gonna have a grudge around, around um, against you. You know things like even sometimes when we play online, on taken online, you beat someone, then they they start getting angry and start throwing racial slurs at you. Man, I, that, that thing that doesn't get to me, man. I, I just ignore that. Ha <laughs> N word. <laughs> beat you. Da da da. Oh, <laughs> you're such a noob. <laughs> All of that. Move on, man. Move past that, man. Anyway, guys, thank you, man. Take care.